Welcome to Shadow the Avatar release 27. Uh, it's my customary first look video. Although, since it's four days late, it's uh, not really a uh, first look anymore. Uh, you'll notice from my uh, past history that I've done this already. Uh, what is your name? That's what I want to do. So, while you're noticing that, also notice that I didn't need to initiate the conversation. It happened automatically. That's a new feature in this release. The, uh, the quest uh, giver people will talk to you automatically. You see I've got the amulet of testimony, which is the usual thing. I also received the gate key from Gawain. The fact that it's called Gawain will become important later. For now, let us proceed. Alright, uh, I already did that, so no need to tell me, really. Let's go on around here and pick up the sword in the usual way. Dum dum dum. That sort of there. Yeah. That's attack. We missed. There we go. <coughs> and what you're experiencing right now is, I believe, one of the new sound effects. There are many new sound effects in this release. I couldn't tell you what they all are. There are also many scenes now have. Uh, music or specific music oh he thinks we're called Tracy wait a minute you're not Tracy we'll revert a task and he's given us uh, all of the stuff required for the love quest Edward's notes on Solid, Solace Bridge you see so that you can then go and uh, complete that quest later now this is significant because previously you chose your starting scene you want to get all her gold and, and that was it now single character can do all of the starting scenes providing you can get to them but I'm going to stop here just now this is a wishing well and we can toss in some gold and it doesn't do anything but this is another new feature of this release wishing wells let's just try a few times ooh you gained an item the ass and the little dog how exciting. The ass and the little dog. Well, there you go. It's like a poem. There's a picture. And so the comedy was ended. There you go. You can pause the video and read that at your leisure. So Wishing Wells are new in this release. They exist in the world, as you can see. You can also buy them in the add-on store if you have a large property or a player-owned town. What's in this chest? Nothing of any interest. <coughs> Let's trundle on up here and speak to the healer. Uh, here we go. Good day. What is your name? His name is Samuel. So now we have a dying knight. And we're going to ask him to follow me. Where are we going? Well, we're going to a place called Gawain. A wounded knight, still alive, at the top of the hill across the town. So, as you can see, if you can see the new smaller text here, we are now escorting Samael. Do not let him get too far away. 
So this is a whole new type of quest. It's the first and currently only implementation of it. It appears to be buggy as all heck at the moment, but you know, it's the first implementation. We're still in early access. Stuff doesn't work. I think they've implemented this just to uh, get some feedback and get some get some data on how it works. Uh, having done this a few times now, I can tell you sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes if you get too far away from him, which isn't very far, it bugs it up and uh, he doesn't return to the starting point. So much needless death, which is a bit annoying. And I strongly suspect if I was actually having to go and battle things, especially like archers or other ranged, ranged enemies, that would get me far, you know, far enough away from Samil to end the quest anyway. So, obviously there aren't any to battle here, but if there were, I suspect the way you would do it would be, first of all, go and kill everything in the way it's going to go, and second of all, go back and start the escort quest and walk past all the dead bodies. That's the only way I can see it working at the minute. It also, I've had it bug out and not complete when he gets up there. Uh, he does some rather strange stuff here and he says he can see the night. If we look in that direction, not only, not only can we not see the night, I don't think he's actually in that direction. But anyway, up the hill. Up the hill. We are coming, good night. And it seems to have actually functioned this time. 5,000 experience points needed for skill development. He's in grievous pain, and then Samael uh, just turns around and runs off. Which I also find a little weird, given that a few seconds ago he was too frightened to run through the village by himself, and now he's just charging back. Charging back and totally ignoring us. Anyway, I think we've exhausted the uh, not exciting new features of Hongai Vale for now. So I will uh, go out here, fight the elves that are uh, guarding, the, guarding the town. And uh, get on to something else right here. So, one, come here, you. Let's go. One. Let's go. Five. Let's go. Four. Let's try six. Seven. There we go. Oh, five. We have defeated him. Victory. Let's take his money and his gear. Danger, okay. I don't think I really am, to be honest. But uh, we should do it anyway. Now, some more people wandering over there, but I think we're, we're safe to take them on one at a time in a minute. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use the sword skills much because I intend to uh, equip a different weapon as soon as I'm able. I've got my main character uses a sword. Oh, I am. I am. Ooh. I am all for variety. Oh, he's disappeared below the. Uh, take all that. Shall we go and kill someone over here? You. Him. Elven mage, there we go. Yeah. Uh, just killing off quickly, we'll do a bit of, of swordy fighting. There we go. Chip. 
Oh, I'm off an archer. So there are some improvements to the combat, mostly in this release it's to do with the speed of the animations to uh, match match what's going on with the, uh, with the actual combat. I suppose you'd have, to, you'd have to pair them side by side to really see it I think, but there we go, another archer. I'm collecting some gold because I want to level up some skills when we get to the next town. <laughs> In the meantime, we shall carry on. So this is going to bring us out in um, a South Paladi, which we will look at on the map when I get to the scene transition. Carry on down this road. Gold of 152. So that's good. And we've got that exciting book we got from the Wishing Well. No, it's seen the same effects. It there we go. And out we go. Right. So I hope that doesn't crash. And I shall switch to the map. So here's Highvale. South Paladi has had a new town, which is Storm's Reach, and also a, a number of new adventure scenes, uh, one of which is Superstition Canyon, which we shall be going through shortly. My plan is to uh, go to Resolute, uh, do some questy stuff, pick up pick up things from my, uh, from my bank, and then we shall head over here to Blood River, which is one of the other starting scenes. Um, the true starting screen, I think. The starting scene. Uh, so we'll have to go through Superstition Canyon to get there. We're in the world of New Britannia in the dark. Let's cast some light on the scene. Uh, light spells are more effective in this release, or at least they're brighter. generally found there's not much use having having a light once you know you're around because the light obscures what you're trying to look at anyway um, so while we're waiting for this one to load I shall mention the reason I'm four days late doing this I normally do the, this the first look video air quotes on the Thursday night of the release uh, on Wednesday, my hard drive failed, and uh, basically on Thursday night, I was still getting it all, uh, getting a new hard drive with a new install, getting it all working again uh, in the time that I would normally have spent doing this video. So uh, I didn't do it then. There have been a number of new games released in the last few days, which I've tried out, and uh, again, not done the video. I was, you know. I thought maybe I wouldn't even bother doing one this release, but I did the research for it, so I figured I might as well do the video. They do tend to be the most popular ones on my channel. So here we are in the rain, which gives me an opportunity to uh, discuss uh, a performance improvement. Uh, does she want to talk to us? I'm from London. Right, yeah, blah, 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 blah. She tells us to go to the other hall and do stuff. So the weather has been optimised for performance so that it doesn't uh, make star machines lag like crazy. And also, they mostly fixed a, an issue where when it was raining, it would also rain inside. It, uh, 
Right. But cancel because I don't want to come to be Tracy. Okay. Yeah, so before it would rain inside. Now let's just go over here and speak to speak to Bridget. Gawain. And what we're looking for is Gawain's and the testimony. There we go. Thousand experience, Tracy. Uh, identification papers. Okay, so I'm assuming the Tracy thing this is one of the bits that's not yet implemented. Uh, I think basically the quest line here isn't implemented past that uh, past that point. Uh, there's a public vendor. Just briefly stop off at him. Uh, so this is actually added in the last release. But you can now order things. So you can put in an order and a bid on a public vendor. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now. And then people can come along and they can look and see what people have issued purchase orders for and uh, choose to fulfil them or not. I'm not going to. I'm going to go to the bank and I'm going to uh, get some stuff out. Uh, let's just sort everything by location resolute. Because, you know, the stuff I left it earlier. I think that's everything. I don't want any of the other things. Ah, so. Recall scrolls and teleport scrolls. New in this release. Which, which we shall discuss shortly. Let me first put on my cloak. Cloaks are another thing that have had a performance optimization. You'll be pleased to hear it. That's, there we go. I've done that. What I want to do now is go and sell all that junk and get some training. Watchers. Arms merchant obviously needs to stand on the table. Is that important? Sell from my inventory. And yeah. we're selling that. All of these things. Yes, the ones. Rusty short swords. Sign for exchange. Uh, I probably could sell the maps as well, but I think 500 will be enough. We we'll go to our specialised. Oh, there's someone. Someone who's a guild leader is sitting on the floor there. Now, what I want to do is train up uh, my pole arm skills. Learn the skill, learn the skill, learn the skill. All right. And what else do I want? I want heightened awareness. I think we're all right here. Strength, armor preservation. Yep, we want that. That's all my gold gone. So now that I've uh, trained up in skills. We need to have a new deck because so we'll push and puncture. We can 
turn the parry. Parry now works, I think, for everything. So every every uh, weapon now has a parry. has a parry option, uh, a parry stat, as well as, as well as its attack stat, you see what I mean? So that it's no longer, they're not linked, so weapons could be better for defence and attack and things like that. got into the details of that at this point, so let's just assume it all works. And I'm just going to put them there, just to use up the slots. I don't think I can do any combos with them at the minute. Yeah, so all my combos are swordy ones. Which are no good, oh, damn it. Last thing I'm going to do here is find the town crier and talk to him and bind. So this is the new mechanic which uh, replaces zoning. So previously you could zone to another player or you could zone to your property. So now you'll see I have recall scrolls and I have teleport scrolls. And if we review here, so recall returns me to the location to which I'm bound, which is now the Resolute Town Crier. And teleport to a friend is teleport to a chosen friend's current location. Uh, I think I have no friends online. Again, this is my old character, so not really not really intended for social functionality more from these messing around with videos so now we're going to head off and do another starting scene the one at Blood River uh, there are some slight strange defects uh, or bugs surrounding that so I'll discuss them when we get to them um, so I mentioned that South Paladi has a whole load of new areas, some of which we're going to see shortly. The Drakvald region, which is up to the north, uh, northeast, also has a bunch of new stuff. Uh, we're not going to get up there in this in this video. Uh, we will. We've talked about the weather performance improvements, uh, collision detection, and, and the leaky roofs. So. Oh, let's let's talk about some new graphic options. So, video. We now have controls for saturation. So, saturation lets you uh, customize the color saturation you want in game. So, you can now play in black and white if you're that way inclined. I'm not inclined. I've played around with it a bit. I've not really hit upon anything I like but there we go I think the default is about a third uh, as I understand it uh, so I think I'm slightly more saturated than default we're going to head around here to Superstition Canyon which is one of the new uh, South Paladi adventure points and while we load into that, I will just walk through my uh, my list. We're, we'll talk a bit more about skills in a bit. 
I'll, I'll get it open. That's that's we're um, that's we're into this scene. Um, th there are some new items in this release, which we'll talk about when we're leading. Now, this scene is a control point. It, it's a five score control point, so I am clearly going to die if I attempt to fight anything here. Uh, we're going to look at shields. So there's a new skill altogether called Testudo. Uh, there's also a new skill Redirection. Uh, none of these are relevant to me, obviously, because I have equipped a pole arm. Uh, I think that's that's most of the the actual new skills are these are these shield ones. Uh, some other things have been balanced. Uh, so, a thing that we can do in this release is so before you can set them to not training, you can now set them to unlearn. So if you're not interested in blade skills. then you can now unlearn them. So you can't unlearn things that are this low, so you're sort of stuck with them. Which is a bit controversial because obviously if you happen to have uh, chosen to do something like fire achievement, that has a negative impact on your water achievement. So if you switch later to water, you will be uh, basically forever more disadvantaged. Now, now this is the same, currently it's the same template as, um, as um, uh, Brightbone Pass. But I understand that over time, yeah, over time, ooh, let's see. Yeah, see, so he's totally, he's totally doing me in. going to do is die. Death and recovery. So the key thing here is because I'm a low level character, I'm not going to be able to fight anybody, but that means I have to get through the checkpoints before I die, because I can't open the gate if I'm dead. So, let's try that again. So, these these control points and um, and all the other things have always been. We've only had a few in the game until now. They're now uh, basically almost fully fully implemented. And this goes back to the, the teleports and the, and the zones. It's it's like enforcing a a local area. So. Clearly, at this stage, I can't fight my way through the zone. Let's, let's try and get this open. Come on, there we go, right. So, we're, we're leveling up our armour preservation. So now we're trying to survive to get this gate open. We did it, and we're out. Okay, so we might die now, but at least we can get down to the uh, the res point on the correct side. There's no point in fighting this guy because, as you've seen, he will kill me. Let's run past him while he's not looking. now telling us about control points, which is kind of the wrong time to be discussing it with us since we've just actually passed through it. So yeah, there's now mostly, to get out of particular areas, you have to go through a control point. There are a few sort of long routes which let you, let you skip some of them, I think, but uh, I don't think there's any way for us to get to Blood River without going through one or other control point, and most of them are, are fairly high level. And, and 
this is the long-term plan. I think there'll be more of them in the next lease. The, the, the journeying is part of the quest, I think, is the... It's, really cool. it's not a uh, instant gratification. Ooh. Try not to look at the eyes through the back of the head. It's not an instant gratification, uh, go out and fight things type of game. It's a explore type of game. So, we want to go across this bridge. Now, what I do want to do, now I'm on the right side, is because of a bug which you will see shortly is going one of these towns so let's pick one right overlook actually let's go to radio city so radio city is uh, the home of avatar's radio which you can now listen to in game thanks to uh, various add-on store purchases. The problem is when you go into the Blood River battle scene uh, you spawn outside of the last scene you went into. So at the moment because the last scene I went into was, was the control point I would spawn back on the other side of that control point and have to run through it again after I've been to Blood River. Uh, I'm fairly sure that's a bug and it will get it will get fixed but for now I'm wasting time heading into Radio City so let's talk about uh, I've talked about untraining and that let's talk about some uh, new things in this lease uh, you can now buy um, craft kilts and walking canes which will which you can wear the uh, female kilt is more like a mini skirt than a kilt but still it's craftable, you can also buy it in the add-on store. Uh, it's all part of that Shooter Jennings uh, event and promotion. Uh, you support breast cancer by buying various stuff. Right, we've entered the player in town. As I, as I said, I only entered it in order to uh, leave it again. So let's leave. We're not going to look around it today. Um, what else can we talk about? Uh, yes, crafting. So the new recipes, there are many new recipes, including the kilt and the walking stick. And also, uh, they've introduced crafting time. Isn't the time it takes to craft something it now corresponds to the difficulty of the recipe? And this will allow us. Uh, no, which way do I want to head? That's the way I've come, isn't it? I think it's this way. That will allow for more events during crafting and opportunities for uh, you know you to use your crafting skills to create create uh, uh, high higher level uh, items. Right. So here we are at Blood River. You see, that's what the nameplate says. But you see, what we enter is the Blood River Massacre which is the starting scene for the truth quest line so even though i started in the courage quest line at highvale now i'm doing the truth quest line uh, obviously i had to get through that control point to get to it uh, i could also traipse all the way back to uh to soul town and uh and do the love quest line but that's a bit of a long walk away so we'll not bother doing it in this video this this will generally show the idea I shall uh, quickly do the quickly do the uh, the quest and get out again and then we'll head on to area or well, actually what we'll do is we'll end up what I expect to happen is we will end up outside of Radio City but anyway let's go and talk to the scavenger salvage dagger offer something better for the dagger well I suspect if we go over here there'll be quite a nice mirror that he's quite keen on and he's willing to swap the dagger for the mirror here we go hello to the cat hello cat 
Oh look, it's an intricate elven mirror. So let's go back to Scavenger Dude. And swap the mirror for the dagger. Salvage. Dagger. Offer something better. Intricate album mirror. There we go. Give items. So I've received the bone steel dagger, which you need to do the quests. Now we go and talk to Edvard, a man of many roles. Who might you be? Uh, now I made this mistake earlier. Oh, I said dagger to him. Fingers. Dagger. Blah, blah, blah. Path of truth. So, he, he's given us three items, which are actually... The same three items, oops, close. The same three items that he already gave us. And that other starting quest to go back to Solace Bridge and carry that on. Mm. So, all of the quests at the minute give you the Solace Bridge stuff mm. if you talk to Edvard. So, let's uh, kill this wolf. There we go. Stop running away. There we go. There's another one. There he is. some of them now. Right, we're not going to bother uh, we're not going to bother harvesting anything at the minute. I will note while we're here that now you won't notice this unless you've carried, you've got a character from the last lease you have to equip all your uh, harvesting tools. This means you can choose which of your harvesting tools you want to equip for each, each task. Uh, but you've got to carry over character 126 it means you'll have to actually equip them uh, new characters correct in this release seem to auto equip everything correctly I think it's just the uh, the carryover characters so it, it, expect it all to work after final wipe in a few months so let's see what happens we're uh, expectancy radio city And yes, I was correct. So let's just get the correct direction again. So you can see that. Remember to do that if you're going to come into uh, Blood River. That's your second or third starting scene. Go in somewhere else on the right, on the correct side of the, uh, of the control point. Right. So you'll notice now that I've been in it once. It's now just Blood River, not Blood River Massacre. Anyway, on to Airy, which is this way. So we're going down to Airy. I'm not really going to do any quests there. Just some uh, fun things to finish off with. Um, so let's just uh, just check. If there's anything else I've not mentioned yet? Uh, Airy. There we go. So. I uh, discussed the skill changes. The most significant one, I think, is that root time now is not a fixed duration effect on an enemy. It now depends on the enemy's strength. So large enemies 
will, will break a root almost instantly. Um, but I assume stuff like archers and other weaker enemies will still be trapped. Uh, you know, for long enough to actually hit them. If you're a melee, if you're a melee character, so annoying when they're around. Um, there's some underlying improvements for character designs, but uh, that's mostly focused on the next release where we're expecting a uh, all new male avatar with with better customization. I don't know what's going on with the female avatar. Um, I think that's that's all I really want to talk about. We're, we're going to go into Airy and uh, see just a few more new features. Uh, so, well, actually one new thing in Airy. I assume it doesn't crash on the way in. And then we will use the recall scroll to uh, return to Resolute. Uh, just to demonstrate that it works. Are we stuck on 54%? Nope. It has been uh, a lot more stable, this, this release. Uh, it seemed to me early on in the last release it was, it was better performance, and making it more stable has reduced, has reduced the performance benefit. But I've only crashed a couple of times this release, whereas the last release I was crashing like every, every, well, when I logged on, every second area transition was almost a guaranteed crash after I first logged on in the evening. Uh, obviously, the hair isn't purple anymore. The hair is the hair is black, and we don't have those weird artifacts. Now, we'll just go here because this isn't a wishing well. I'm not sure exactly what the difference is supposed to be, but we, we were in a wishing well in that starting scene. Uh, I did mention at the start of the video that there's a lot of areas that have um, now got their own custom custom music. Uh, I'm not sure if this is one of them. But many many of the uh, towns now have their own distinct uh, well atmosphere. I guess is what we're what we're talking about. Now I'm heading down to the docks here. Because there's a particular lighthouse, a particular merchant I'm looking for. We don't want to talk to the ship captain. We don't want to talk to the cat. We don't want to talk to the crew member. What we're looking for is the music merchant. Who I think is. Is that her there? Yes. There's the music merchant. This is what we wanted to see. Oh, lag, lag, lag. Let's talk to the music merchant. Shandala. We can buy some nice songs. But we're going to talk to her about music. Music is a passion of hers, you know. Sometimes she just can't help but dance. And there we go. It's a bit embarrassing, but the only dance she knows is Dance 5. So uh, let us try Dance 5. which is new in this release and I'm sure you'll agree with me it was totally worth walking all this way to see Dance 5 I'm glad you're enjoying it I think Watch is enjoying it right so now let's test the uh, recall scroll go recalling well we're recalling it looks like we're straining pretty badly to do something but I suppose it is a strain. Teleportation? It ought to be a strain, really. And... Three, two, one, boom! And we're gone. It's like magic. And back to Resolute, where you will note I uh, set my marker earlier. So you can see that works. Uh, it's definitely it's a more fair solution than... than uh, only property owners being able to zone to particular particular locations. Now anybody can can set a recall point anywhere, but you can only set one recall point. 
so people that own multiple houses no longer have an advantage of skipping over the control points which comes back to what I was talking about earlier of journeying around the, the, the map is intended to be a part of the game uh, you should be you know local suppliers should be a thing even even if uh, it's more cost effective to grow things in particular areas there's also going to be a cost in carrying those things to to re places remote from that um, there we go we land in the uh, entrance to the scene we've set a recall point into and uh, there we go so I think I've covered most of the new features in R27 there's, there's some more stuff in crafting uh, I've not really gotten into because you need to level up quite a bit to do all that stuff uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of new areas we've not seen this video since there's no hat quests it's really up to uh, the players to seek out the new areas themselves at this point um, but there you go show the after R27 first look check it out uh, you've got another well, four weeks I guess 